in this part we are going to discuss how pressure is measured for that purpose a device is used that is called as barometer this is made up of mercury the person who invented this uh, his name is tori silly so we are going to discuss what is now barometer uh, now keep in mind my drawing is not that good but i will try to draw something you have to understand it and secondly whatever diagrams i am drawing here they are just schematic diagram schematic means for the purpose of study only i am showing don't ask me that how to be standing automatically and all that so let us start uh, first you have to take a tube which is hard glass tube why it is hard glass i will explain but right now we have to consider this is hard glass tube now this hard glass tube is having length of 1 meter so you have to take that 1 meter you are aware 1 meter means 100 cm so here the tube is having length 1 meter which is filled completely by an element you are aware of this element this is called as mercury latin name is hydrargyrum therefore symbol is hg now this mercury we have to fill till top in case of mercury Keep in mind there are two types of forces in liquid. We are considering one is called as cohesive forces and other is called as adhesive forces. Adhesive forces means uh, molecules of that liquid is having affinity towards other molecule. Cohesive forces means affinity of same molecule with same molecule. So in case of mercury, cohesive forces are more than adhesive forces. Therefore, mercury will come like this, bulging out like that. Mercury will be there. so this is now completely filled with mercury now we have to take another dish which is also filled with mercury little bit now i want to invert this tube in this tube so this way i will invert now tube and i will keep this tube as this way now initially i have filled this complete tube with mercury but now i am making invert uh inverted tube now what is the expected thing because of gravity all mercury should come down mercury is having very high density density means mass upon volume so it is having density more than 13 g per cc cubic centimeter so here mercury will uh, we are expecting that mercury should go down and a level here should get increase this way. but practical data shows that it is not happening to 100% mercury is going down but to little bit extent say for example if you are there at sea level then we will find that mercury will be there something like this and if you are marking here this is approximately 7 uh, 76 centimeters you are aware this total part is 100 cm out of that this is 76 cm mercury is not falling down actually it should but only this much of portion get vacated out whereas here it is there the thing is that earth is having tremendous gravitational force because of that earth is pulling out atmosphere atmosphere means gases they are pulled towards earth as a result the pressure is there that is called as atmospheric pressure so here we are getting atmospheric pressure over here because of that pressure mercury is not able to fall down little bit it will fall and then equilibrium will establish suppose i am going in higher altitude sea level is there apart from sea level i will go to higher altitude then the thing is that atmospheric pressure will start decreasing out as a result if this pressure is decreased then downward moment is possible and this way mercury level will start falling down so for approximately 
एवरी वन सिक्सटी मीटर अल्टिट्यूड रियल नंबर इज वन सिक्सटी फाइव मीटर बट फॉर जनरल पर्पज वी आर फॉर कैलक्युलेशन पर्पज वी आर कंसिडर इन दिस एज वन सिक्सटी मीटर सो फॉर वन सिक्सटी मीटर अल्टिट्यूड मर्क्यूरी लेवल विल फॉल बाय वन एम एम वन मिलीमीटर सो हियर इफ आई एम कंसिडरिंग दिस एज सेवन सिक्सटी सेंटी सॉरी आई शुड कंसिडर दिस एज सेवन सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर सो सपोज आई एम एट सी लेवल इट शुड बी सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम ऑफ मर्क्यूरी बट वेन आई विल गो वन सिक्सटी मीटर हायर अल्टिट्यूड द लेवल ऑफ मर्क्यूरी विल फॉल बाय वन एम एम सपोज आई एम गोइंग सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड मीटर अल्टिट्यूड लेवल ऑफ मर्क्यूरी विल फॉल बाय टेन मिलीमीटर सो लाइक दैट एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विल डिक्रीज सो दिस वे दिस इज द हाइट ऑफ मर्क्यूरी कॉलम दैट इज मेजर्ड एंड वी कैन मेजर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर ओवर हियर इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज बैरोमीटर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज डिजाइन बाय पर्सन नेम्ड एज टॉरी सिली एंड देन ही टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर द थिंग हियर दिस इज वैक्यूम Why? Because mercury is going down, but mercury is a dense metal. It is in liquid state, but metal, very dense metal. As a result, when it is going down, it is not displacing out air. If air is displaced, then barometer will not work. So there is a vacuum. This vacuum is named as Torrey Seeley's vacuum. So here we are getting practically creation of vacuum. No doubt, it is not. Up to hundred percent, but very great vacuum is produced over here. That is called as Torrey Seeley's vacuum. Now, if you are increasing pressure here, then automatically mercury will rise. So, if you are taking this instrument and going under the soil, then obviously under the soil means we have to make tunnel and go downwards. Particularly, you are aware of mines and all that. So, if you are going to mines, then you will get idea that pressure is increasing now. so this way we can measure pressure that is in terms of uh, millimeter of mercury so uh, we are considering 760 mm of mercury pressure is written this way 760 mm of mercury that is considered as one atmospheric pressure you are aware that as you are going to higher the altitude pressure will decrease that's why lot of changes occur but right now we are just considering here barometer and how pressure is calculated here so on barometer we are getting pressure in terms of 760 mm of mercury